Coach Began, uh, congratulations on a very successful senior day. You've got to feel good about those guys. Got a lot of guys in the game, but it's uh, a special tribute to the, to the seniors today. Yeah, and, and really uh, not a big group of numbers necessarily, but I think a really impactful group on this program. Uh, you think about the five guys that this is year six, um, uh, you know, a bunch of different stories amongst that crew. And then uh, six transfers, you know, six transfers that found their uh, found their home here at Montana State, uh, all of which have been here at least two years. And I, I don't think they would trade the decision to come here for anything. And obviously a bunch of those guys got a chance to make an impact today and um, a great way to send them off. And you know, I think winning today, as sure just said, we will get a chance to be back at home, home again. This won't be the last uh, game here in Bobcat Stadium, but um, no, really proud of uh, how our game, our guy, guys just came out and and went after it, much like much like last week. Bobcat Stadium is a tough place to play. Uh, three three consecutive years uh, with without a loss here, uh, Bobcat fans. But yeah, you, know, you guys play good at home. Yeah, you know I I think uh, there's a little bit of human nature to being able to play uh, really well in the comforts of home. I know uh, our guys appreciate our fans so much. We have the, the great fortune to be able to play in front of the best fans in the country, in my opinion, as far as uh, how they show up and how they're into the game. And, you know, that certainly makes a difference, uh, you know, for our guys. And I think it, uh, it is complicated for the other team. So, yeah, to continue that, uh, that streak throughout another regular season, um, you know, uh, we, all, we all are part of that, the players, the fans, uh, everybody here that comes out and supports us. And Eastern Washington had a few big plays today, no question about it. But you know, by and large, for the, uh, collectively for for your team, special teams, offense, defense, uh, great great effort. Yeah, yeah. You know, disappointing. I guess last drive of the second uh, second quarter, and then that first uh, you know really quick drive they had in the third quarter. Um, but yeah, we. We aim to stop the run game, and I, I, we did that. Uh, you know, I think they ended up passing for quite quite a few, but that, you know, that's not going to be the the ticket. I got to think against us. You know, if, if we can stop a team from running the football and uh, put them in passing situations, that's gonna it's gonna be what it needs to be. And and, and yeah, special teams we made some big plays. Um, you know, I think Brendan Hall had a fabulous day as far as turning over the field because we probably punted more than we typically would. Um, you know, and then offensively made a bunch of big plays. Uh, were very explosive in that, that first half in particular. Weber State, Weber State uh, helped uh, the Montana State out with a, a victory over Idaho today. So there's a lot of marbles on the table this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this, this game is, is big for a lot of reasons. And, you know, uh, um, there's all those Montana natives that are, are down in that locker room that this game means so much to. And, and, you know, I think the, the rivalry certainly grows on our guys from out of state. And then, you know, by the nature of it being the last game, um, you know, there's generally going to be, you know, Big Sky Conference and playoff implications on the line. And that's the way it's going to play out next Saturday. So got to enjoy this one um, and then have a great week of preparation to, to go give it, uh, you know, everything we possibly have next Saturday. Great. Um, Sean and Kamei for, I think, five touchdowns in that first half. What do you think is no, he was on, on point. You know, I think there's, you know, this misconception that uh, we're going to throw him out there and we're just going to run the football. Um, and he's going to run the football, but he can throw it. I think, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was apparent, uh, you know, uh, they're all piled down in there. And if, if you do that, we got some guys that can get behind the defense. And I know uh, Ty in particular was able to do that a couple of times. So, yeah, I mean, I, that was a, a tremendous first half by, by Sean. And, um, you know, uh, I think we show we can throw the football if we need to. Yeah, you know, Zach's uh, he's played a real critical role on special teams all year, and he's been there, been in there here and there on defense. Um, you know, he's a um, he's a tremendous uh, athlete, and uh, you know, that's shown a lot in the special teams game. That the block punt was probably the first time it really you know would uh, show it to to the fan in the stands, I guess, but. You know, and then the athleticism on the interception. Um, you know, uh, we're really glad we have him here, um, and uh, you know, he's only going to continue to contribute uh, um, as he gets uh, you know bigger and stronger, all that stuff. And then Lane, you know, Lane's been through so much, um, you know, and he's got his way back into the mix here these, these last couple of weeks. So to, to have him back out there to get him in the end zone, in particular on special uh, on, on senior day, was a pretty special moment.
Will Maskelson also had a pick, and Ben Seymour almost had, almost had a scoop and score as well. So just talk about your seniors in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I, I said uh, before, it's just a, a really a really special group, and I, I think, uh, a, you know, pretty uh, – you know, I think if you said one word, what describes them, I would say just an unselfish group, you know, and, and they understand that, uh, uh, you know, nothing's going to be given to them and they need to, to continue to, to do everything they can and, and uh, keep going to work and lead by example, um, you know, and, and Nolan, Ben, I mean, the whole, you go down the line, I know we were without uh, two of them and Derek and Trayton today, but, you know, I, I know those other 10 guys got a, they had a chance to contribute today and, you know, um, a pretty no nonsense group. That's my, that's that's, you know, you keep stacking these groups up. Um, you know, another opportunity for for those those guys to be in the playoffs. You know, that's all that six year group knows. You know, they got here in eighteen and eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty two, now twenty three. I think they're they're going to be the. I would suspect Bill right the first group to be part of all they, they know is playoffs and, and and this kind of winning. And uh, you know, they've they've learned while they're younger, but then they've been able to turn it around. As older players and and really um, become model um, models of what what we want to be all about. You, know, you mentioned the Eastern load in the box. I mean, how big was it then to just hit them towards the middle of the field and sort of open things up? Yeah, I think you know most teams are going to do that against us, and, and you know uh, we've we haven't taken enough shots you know, honestly the last couple of weeks, um, and you know that that's that was kind of our our approach. You know, what if we're going to pass it? We're going to take a shot. We're going to go downfield and. You know, I think we ended up eight for eight that first uh, first half, and you know, uh, a lot of wide open guys running. So, you know, as as we continue to move forward, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm hopeful the teams recognize that we can throw it, and they got to defend it all. And uh, you know, we got capable quarterbacks, and we certainly have uh, capable guys on the other end. That time, Cole, you guys, the wind knocked out, or what happened to him? I think that's probably what it was. Yeah, yeah. And then he comes back and scores two yeah. yard touchdowns. Yeah, he was in there two plays later, so I know he got thrown down pretty hard, and that's about what it was. I think. Just uh, your team at this point in this season uh, compared to maybe this time last year or the year before, I mean, how do you feel, how good do you feel about where you are to overall? Well, I, I think uh, I think this team continues to get better. Um, you know, and, and I think we've, uh, we could say that the last couple of years as we move through November, you know, that's your barometer. You're getting better, um, you're staying the same. Because um, you got to make a, a conscious decision to keep, keep battling and, and keep uh, preparing each week. Um, you know, uh, and I think I think this team right now um, continues to answer the bell. And you know, we got a big big test next week, and you know that will you know obviously be a telltale as far as the way the regular season unfolds. But um, you know, feel good, and I, I think generally I think we feel decent about where our health is at right now. I know that's always a tricky tricky thing that you don't necessarily control. Um, so you know, I think it's a hungry group. Um, and a, a group that uh, I have no doubt about their willingness to continue to go back to work. On the on the health front, uh, did Marcus leave with the injury, or was that Marcus Weir, or was that just? Yeah, the... we we pulled him out. I think. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing that um, to, to, to be greatly concerned about. Okay. And then you got a couple guys come back. Um, Elijah, of course, but then JT's first game of the season just how great. Yeah, was that you know that was a little bit. I you know as of Monday, I didn't know if that would be um, a possibility, but he he practiced this week and to get him out there and. Um, it's been a long time um, coming for him. I hadn't played since December last year, and you know, uh, um, I'm hopeful he got out of it. I know he he came off one of those last plays, so I'm hopeful he got he came out of it okay. And you know, because uh, I would suspect that we we may need another guy in that that, that offensive line, and you know, a guy with his experience and ability, um, that'd be a great place to start.